No mercy for protester Jacob Chansley, who was photographed storming the Capitol shirtless, wearing coyote skins and carrying a spear. A judge announced today that he's being held without bond until trial. Jacob Chansley faces up to 25 years in prison. Joe Dana was in court today and has the latest. Chansley is one of five Arizonans we know of who faces charges related to the riot on that day. He has certainly been the most visible, given the attire that he was wearing. The judge actually pointed out he has a clean record, served in the Navy, and may have believed he was in a righteous cause when he went to the Capitol that day. But she says nothing can excuse what he did, that he was an active participant of a violent insurrection that attempted to overthrow the United States government. New video shows Chansley's devotion to President Trump that day. Uh, Donald Trump asked everybody to go home. He just, uh, he just put out a tweet. It's a minute long. He asked everybody to go home. Chansley's attorney even argued on CNN that he should be pardoned by the president because he was simply being loyal to President Trump. We, we should stop calling people fools because we have a large percentage of our population who spent a great deal of time in their lives hanging on every word of President Trump. My client, it did not break into the Capitol. My client had the doors to the Capitol held for him by Capitol Police. As this process moves forward, the judge also pointing out Chansley left a threatening note for Vice President Mike Pence at the Senate podium and later called him a child trafficking traitor. Reasons to believe that if he was released on bond, he would be a serious risk to obstruct justice especially in the coming days leading up to the inauguration. Many of Chansley's belief, of course, point to the fact he is a QAnon believer in this widespread global conspiracy. Several months ago, when President Trump was asked to denounce QAnon, he declined and suggested that he believed they were good people. It's one reason why Chancellor may have believed he was justified to go to the Capitol that day. Joe Dana, 12 News.